Hiss and Hemp were on the menu at the Shaw Centre today. It was for a unique expo where thousands are learning about the new ways Canadians are using the now legal drug. CTV's Mike Arcelides joins us live with more. Mike? Katie, the expo's goal is to erase stigmas and misconceptions about cannabis and hemp use by those who say the plants have changed their lives for the better. You served this country. I did seven years in the in the forces and two tours. Cody Lindsay's military career ended abruptly because of cannabis use. Released from the Canadian forces, he was blindsided. Destroyed my life, and uh, you know I kind of fought the system and said, "Listen, this is what's helping me." This is exactly 25 milligrams of THC. An accomplished chef, he's now the wellness soldier, cooking with cannabis, sharing healthy ways to use oils and edibles in the kitchen. For the first demo, I'm going to be doing a steak with chimney churi and horseradish cream sauce and then for the second one I'm going to be doing a, uh, a rustic tomato and uh, bacon pasta with a uh, herd vinaigrette salad. True high dining? Indeed. From glassware to hydroponic equipment. I've never done this. How easy is it to grow this stuff? It's very very easy. You would drop your products into this drum. Learning to set up the necessary lights, fans and, and tents takes 30 minutes. Here. And the blade spins and basically cuts the excess off of your cannabis plants. He says you can trim four pounds of plants an hour. Now in its second year, the Cannabis and Hemp Expo is capitalizing on growing demand. Some are selling products, some are here for education, some are here for recruitment if you want to work in the cannabis sector. Oh, no, that is... And curiosity. People just want to learn how they can use cannabis in different ways and not just to get high, to also treat medicinal issues as well. So it's just a really good educational forum where you can get a lot of information. Many here use cannabis to treat chronic pain and illness. I do take other medication, but CBD has replaced a lot of uh, anti-inflammatories and things that can like damage your kidneys and stuff long term. So that's where I find it benefits. This pharmacist has a team of trained medical cannabis professionals. Their business to design treatment plans and products from pills to snacks. This opioid crisis is still with us. I'm a father of four and I've seen it on a very personal level in many ways and it has to change. Cannabis is not for everyone but it can be for some people. It makes a difference. It works 110 percent. Hoping to save lives using plant-based medicine now legal across the land. Organizers are hosting another set of shows this spring in Calgary and Edmonton. The event here at the Shaw Centre in Ottawa continues tomorrow from 11 to 5 p.m. A reminder, cannabis is not for sale inside the Expo. Stefan. CTV's Mike Arcelides reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Mike.